So Adam, what are what are we doing here? Um, well, so I'm just about to show you um, clicking. So obviously, when it comes to bespoke shoemaking, the customers choose the material that they would like, and then obviously choose the style. So here we've got um, a skin of um, black calf, which is um, the best um, that you can buy, um, which is the Freudenberg recipe, but it's actually produced by a company called Weinheimer, um, and they bought the recipe and have um, now produced the leather. So what you see here is obviously the full, the full skin or hide, so um, I suppose the elements that people don't necessarily think about, you just think of, say obviously, the leather as material, but when this was actually a living calf, say, then what you're thinking about when you're cutting a pair of shoes is cutting the stretch of the natural give and stretch and leather in the direction of the way that the shoe is going to bend and flex. So this has got an uh, axis of stretch that comes through down the backbone and then out to each of the legs. To some extent, I mean, the butts or this area, the bottom part of the skin, is the best part of the skin. As when the, it was an animal and walking around, then that's probably the area that would be least damaged or to come into contact. So if it was walking around a field, you know, if it's scratching itself on a tree or fence post, then it probably would be in its shoulders. And so there's more natural, I suppose, faults in sort of the neck and shoulders upwards rather than the butt, which kind of is, um, yeah, so it doesn't really get affected yeah. at all, say, in the animal's actual life. Um, and then what so about stretch? I mean, where, you know, where uh, you're talking? Yeah, so the areas of, say, the stretch is, or is coming through here. So here's the backbone, and then, so each of the um, shoe components are mirrored so you're cutting the left and the right from each side of the backbone. So obviously, say, the material will be pretty similar from each area, say, in its um, stretch and substance as well. Mm -hmm. And then you have, um, obviously, say, the air, the stretch is running through the hide. And then, so we're going to, you can see that there's a lot more give this way than this way. Yeah. How many pairs of uh, shoes do you think you could cut out of one hide? Um, you might get two if you're lucky. It just depends on the size and the quality of the skin. And what are you looking for in terms of you know imperfections? I mean, you know, can you can you see them? I mean, is it? Uh... Well, the thing is, I mean, generally speaking, any shoe or leather in general, if it's a matte finish you can see obviously how good the quality of the leather is. Mm -hmm. A lot of companies put a lot of finishing or um, sort of extra parts on the shoe who, to cover up flaws in the leather. So here, I mean, obviously, if you look on this skin, in here, you know, there are very few flaws. I mean, you can sometimes see um, tick marks or slight scratches. I mean, generally, the quality of leather, you know, that we're buying is pretty much flawless, yeah. so. Well, so what are you going to cut today? Um, well, so this is a Oxford um, S-cap. Black, so, black cap to Oxford? Yes. So, and then I guess the S-cap is? Like this well, so S, so in our terminology, S stands for straight. Okay. So straight cap. So obviously, so you've got the vamp here, and then for an Oxford, the vamp will lay on top of the quarters. So we'll need, obviously, a left and a right, so two vamps, two quarters for each shoe, so four in total. We've got a cap pattern there as well. And then you'll need a tongue and the linings as well. 
And are the patterns cut symmetrically, like so the inside is the same as the outside? No, so the inside um, quarter will be higher than the outside quarter because obviously it's accommodating for your ankle bone. So these are the two quarters? Yes. Right, and then you can see. So yeah, there's a slight, slight difference um, in the length there. So um, when Jess has made the pattern is that the inside of um, this shoe is slightly um, longer than the outside of the shoe. Okay, well, great. Well, I'll let you get at it. Okay. So if there's anything you're kind of thinking about as you're cutting? Um, well, obviously, so when you're um, closer to the spine, so that's generally the, I suppose, the very best part of the skin. So the most visual part is the cap. So that's where you want it to be because that's obviously the first thing that you'll see. Um, it sort of kind of goes with the natural shape of the skins um, anyway um, and then you know you're just um, when you're cutting you know good technique is to kind of move away the, um, from the center because obviously if you slip with your knife or anything like that it's obviously a very expensive material then you could still shuffle it back rather than you know, shuffling forward and then you would be moving into the area of being um, over the backbone, which you, you can't do. Um, and then, you know, so you're just checking, um, say the skin, just to make sure that there isn't any flaws, blemishes or anything, so that would be, you know, that you don't really want on your shoe. And are you cutting an allowance? Yeah, so we um, always, I suppose, leave probably about a quarter of an inch all the way around the pattern piece um, to obviously allow the closer, which is um, obviously the next step in the process. So they've got, um, you know, a little bit to work with. Mm -hmm. 